بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم In the month of Ramadan we need to prepare uh, well before the month of Ramadan we need to prepare for the month of Ramadan how do we prepare they say that the two months before the month of Ramadan especially the month of Rajab and Sha'ban um, we need to fast even if you can uh, if you cannot fast the whole two months to prepare for the month of Ramadan then at least fast a few days in each one of those months if you can at least fast um, a few days in rajab and a few days in shaban if you can't then at least uh, fast the last three days of the month of shaban if you can't just the last day of shaban so that's preparation preparation for fasting then preparation for uh, stopping yourself from sin so the the most important thing is Um, you know, when Imam Ali Islam asked the Holy Prophet, Ya Rasulullah, what is the best ibadat in this month? The Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, the best ibadat is not to sin. So even if you can't recite Quran, you are fasting, or even if you are ill or traveling, you can't fast, um, you're only doing your wajib prayers, at least try not to sin. Don't back up, backbite anyone, don't slander anyone, don't use your language, your tongue in a, a rude manner. and control your eyes your ears your entire thought process should should change and evolve in the month of ramadan you need to try and prepare yourself what do you prepare for you prepare for forgiveness from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so recitation of the holy quran will have your sins forgiven recitation of the uh, blessings you know salawat on the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and his holy progeny and uh, um giving more sadaqa uh, helping out in good deeds especially people who do iftar help them out as much as you can and um the best gift of this month is forgiveness so if you can forgive others and ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive you so repentance is the best time uh, for it is the month of ramadan Uh, Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala makes you fast he says okay you know do this do that and as a result he forgives you Imam Ali al-Islam also says uh, indeed the Eid is for the people who have been forgiven uh, so you should celebrate only when you are sure that you've been forgiven um, do not be at the front line of celebration and uh, be a sinful person in the month of Ramadan so be a person who does not sin in the month of Ramadan and also the person who repents in this month and prepares himself or herself uh, for uh, for the grand nights for Laylatul Al Qadr the whole year 11 months you prepare for the month of Ramadan even if the whole year you don't then at least Rajab and Shaaban two months you prepare yourself for the month of Ramadan and as soon as the month of Ramadan begins you prepare yourself for Laylatul Qadr and as soon as laylatul qadr is over you prepare yourself for eid meaning celebrate uh, forgiveness that you've been forgiven so the preparation for the month of ramadan is uh, is for repentance um and once you have repented then do not go back to the sins that's true repentance thank you very much for listening Whoa.